When I was getting ready this morning, um, I was thinking about moose. Now, I live in Alaska and we've got moose everywhere. I mean, they'll walk around downtown, they will walk around in our front yards. Um, I've seen them pretty much anywhere. You know, they're, you know, they were here first, I mean, so um, they just walk around in the city too. It's very, I mean, even bull moose, like the ones with the big bull and gold antlers and stuff. But I was wondering, you know, they have this big hump on their back and I was like, I wonder if there's water in that, like a camel. So I had to look it up and I looked it up and it turns out it's, there's actually no water in that hump. Um, that's their shoulder blades. Um, they've got longer front legs than back legs because they jump over things, which they can jump over like a six foot fence, maybe even taller. I mean, they've got, they got some hops. And I also learned a few other things that there's this thing that like, hangs from their chin and it's called a bell. There's no water in that either. Don't know why it's called a bell. That's what it's called. Um, also, uh, the plural term for moose is not mooses or nieces. Um, it's just moose. So you see one moose, it's like, oh, there's a moose. You see a bunch of moose. There's a moose. No clue why it's that way. The English language is just so bizarre. Hmm, there were some other things too that was very interesting and now I can't think of any of them. <laughs> oh, they got four stomachs. Isn't that crazy? Four, well, they got four chambers in their stomach, I should say. So one can store nutrients, maybe one of those can store water too. But, um, you know, it, I imagine it's really difficult for them to find, um, like, food and water, especially in the wintertime when it's, like, 11 degrees out like it is right now. Um, because all the water's frozen over and they're chewing on twigs and stuff. So, um, I imagine they have to store quite a bit in their stomachs. And they're fairly, you know, they're a big animal. They've got to kind of store up as much as they can when they do find some food. Extremely bizarre and yet fascinating animal and um, I will show you one at the end of this clip when I was leaving a Starbucks one day because that's how frequently frequently we do see these animals. I actually almost hit one um, a few weeks ago but I was able to avoid hitting one. It kind of popped out of nowhere when I was driving somewhere. Thankfully the moose is fine. I was fine. The car was fine but they do pop out of nowhere sometimes. I'll show that clip at the end of this too. <laughs> So anyway, those are some fun facts about moose on this Monday morning. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and um, I'll catch you next time. Bye. Ciao.